हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन क्लास एट साइंस चैप्टर थ्री सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स एंड प्लास्टिक्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय पॉलीमर सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स लाइक रेयन नाइलोन पोलिस्टर एक्रेलिक एंड करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स लेटस सी वन बाय वन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ पोलीमर the clothes which we wear are made of fabrics and fabrics are made from fibers obtained from natural or artificial sources about these fabrics and fibers in lower classes we have discussed natural fibers like cotton wool silk etc are obtained from plants or animals synthetic fibers like rayon nylon polyester are made by human beings that is why these are called synthetic or man made fibers this we have discussed in the lower classes a synthetic fiber is also a chain of small units joined together and each small unit is actually a chemical substance many small units and these small units called monomers remember it monomers when these monomers or many small units combine to form a large single unit then this large single unit is called polymer students you must be able to understand what is the meaning of monomer and what is the meaning of polymer small units these are known as the monomers when these combine and form a large single unit then this large single unit is known as polymer clear actually polymer is a greek word and poly meaning many and mer meaning part or unit so a polymer is made up of many repeating units clear you can compare this with one necklace actually this necklace is composed of number of beads clear and these beads are joined with the help of a thread in the same way when number of paper clips are joined then we will get a one long chain okay in the same way when many numbers of smaller units join then they form a polymer okay actually some nature not some natural fibers are also the polymer like this natural fiber cotton this is a polymer and it is called cellulose actually cellulose is made up of a large number of glucose units so we can say this is glucose is a monomer and when number of glucose units are repeated then it forms cellulose that's why cellulose is a polymer now we'll discuss some synthetic fibers first one is rayon silk fiber which we have discussed in the lower class obtained from silk worm was discovered in china fabric obtained from silk fiber was very costly but it is beautiful texture fascinated matlab attracted everybody clear artificial fiber having properties similar to that of silk was obtained by chemical treatment of wood pulp okay actually when wood pulp is chemically treated then this will convert into the another fiber and that fiber is known as rayon and it's it they look like a silk that's why this is known as artificial silk clear although rayon is obtained from a natural source wood pulp but yet it is a man made fiber it is cheaper than silk and can be woven like silk fibers it can also be dyed dyed means that is can be converted into the different colored it can be colored in a wide variety of colors rayon is used in textile textile industries for making clothing like sarees blouse dresses socks etc it is used to make furnishing such as a bed sheet curtains blankets etc 
it is used to make carpets see you can see in this diagram this is carpet this is bed seat clear these are the this is a curtain actually this is pillow cover and bed seat and this is the dress material clear now next one is nylon nylon is another man made fiber in 1931 it was made without using any natural raw material clear actually it was prepared from coal water and air from coal some chemicals were obtained and then these chemicals are converted into nylon that's why we can say it was the first fully synthetic fiber nylon fiber is a strong elastic and light it is lustrous lustrous means shiny appearance have shine and easy to wash so it is very popular for making clothes articles made from nylon are socks robes tents tooth brushes car seat belts sleeping bags curtains etc nylon is also used for making parachutes and ropes for rock climbing actually nylon fiber or nylon nylon thread is very strong and it is stronger than steel that's why this is used to make parachutes and ropes for the rock climbing then you can see the different diagrams are there like this is curtain this is parachute in this this is the rock climbing diagram in this phase one person is using the one rope which is made up of nylon these are the seat belts these are seat belts this is brush this is nylon rope clear next one is polyester actually polyester fabric made from this fiber does not get wrinkled easily clear it remains crisp and is easy to wash so it is quite suitable for making dress material like polyester shirts and other dresses this terrilene is a popular polyester another example of polyester is pet polyethylene tryptophylate clear is a very familiar form of polyester and it is used for making bottles students you are familiar if at your home some pet bottles are there pet containers are there in some in date some grocery items are placed clear utensils films wires and many other useful products polyester again this is poly plus ester actually this ester is a one class of organic compound when many ester molecules are joined then this will convert into polyester actually polyester is made up of the repeating units of chemical called an ester now what is this ester actually this esters are the chemicals which give fruity smell dear students whatever the smell we are getting from the fruits this smell is due to chemical esters clear fabrics are sold by names like polycoat polywool terricoat etc these are the some varieties of polyester as the name suggests these are made by mixing two types of fibers okay actually these are the polyester but they contain the some mixing of another fibers also like polycoat is a mixture of polyester and cotton in the same way poly wool is a mixture of polyester and wool these are the some diagrams of the objects which are made up of polyester clear this this these are the bottles this is the shirt now next one is acrylic acrylic fibers appear to resemble wool clear like sweaters shawls or blankets made of acrylic the wool obtained from natural source is quite expensive clear whereas the clothes made from acrylic are relatively cheap they are available in a variety of colors okay now you see this is the this look like a woolen but it is not necessary that it is pure wool it may be a synthetic fiber like 
acrylic. These are the blankets, which may be made up of acrylic. All the synthetic fibers are prepared by a number of processes using raw materials of petroleum origin. Remember, what are the raw materials required to prepare the synthetic fibers? These are obtained from the petroleum. That's why these are known as petrochemicals. Okay. Now, just see characteristics of synthetic fibers. Synthetic fibers are more durable. It means for long time, for longer time, we can use affordable. Means everyone can afford it. Soak less water. That's why they dry up quickly. They are less expensive. They are readily available and their maintenance is easy. That's why easy to maintain. But that synthetic fiber also have the some drawbacks. Like synthetic fibers melt on heating. Yeah. If the clothes catch fire, it can be disastrous. The fabric melts and stick to the body of the person wearing it. That's why we should not wear synthetic clothes while working in the kitchen or in a laboratory. Okay, students. Thank you. Please subscribe my channel for the new videos. Okay.